So, yesterday we had boiler problems and um, I tipped some water over that black pipe there and it started to work. Then at two o'clock this morning, it was making horrible noise again. And um, everything went off, it wouldn't work, nothing. So, can't really get up there with a ladder over the top of that. So I put a hairdryer on a pole and tried it with a hairdryer to fall it out. And it still wouldn't do anything. Then I noticed, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little 22 mil water pipe goes in the wall. So I thought I'd put something behind it and pull it out, but it wouldn't come out. So pull some more hot water over this bit because that's that's the only bit I can get to. Air dryer for 20 minutes on that, no, still won't work. So then I had the brainwave. Oh, this must help somebody out. <coughs> Go underneath your boiler, you'll find where that white pipe comes through the wall, there's a rubber hose. That's it here now. Where's my finger? That's the rubber hose there. That goes on that white piece of plastic pipe and goes out. So what I did, I got a bucket and pulled that pipe off and had about I know, two pints of water come out. You know, is it ever gonna stop? But eventually it stopped. I thought, well. If that pipe is off and the outside pipe is frozen that's bypassing everything so anyway after about 10 minutes of resetting it and resetting it she's fired up again and now just for temporary i've got a diesel filler can that's a handle out of a trolley there it is so that's the rubber pipe that goes outside normally disconnected it off the white white water pipe connected to this handle i got and put it into a gallon diesel can. Now, it is brand new can, so there's no smell. If you've got a bucket, that would do the same, I would think. So what I've got to do now is keep checking it and every now and again, but she's up and running. And we have got heating. So if you can't get to your pipes, or the outside condenser pipe, take the rubber hose off, but get a bucket to catch the water. What it was doing is making a horrible noise and gurgling, and then it cut out completely. You can see the, the temporary pipe there. So once it's warmed up again, I'll put the pipe back on, we should be good to go.